Hey, what is up guys, Kid from Sunset Park, and I am back again with some more Call of Duty gameplay in the background for you guys today. Playing a little domination here on the map, Yemen. Uh, this is a fairly good gameplay, I'm running around here with the Peacekeeper. Uh, the map, I really don't like, I don't really like it for rushing, but I end up doing a pretty good job of rushing in this uh, gameplay. I go around 46 and 4, but the gameplay itself, I'm not going to really talk about in today's video. I want to talk about what happened today um, with the Call of Duty All Access um, kind of reveal of the campaign and some of the stuff in Call of Duty Ghosts. If you haven't seen it, I'll try to link some of the footage in the description below uh, so you guys can check it out. If I find the full thing, I'll definitely link that for you guys so I don't have to put multiple videos, but uh, what's ever down in the description is what I found for you guys. But if you did see it, I want to know what you guys thought in the comment section below. Definitely uh, tell me your opinion. I'd love to see what you guys thought of it. My personal opinion, I thought they did a really good job with it. I really liked it. Um, they talked to the developers like they do with every uh, one of these um, you know game uh, conferences these game uh, debuts they show uh, the gameplay they talk to the developers they see what was going through their minds they see what they actually did uh, to help create the level that they showed and overall I think the event went pretty smooth it was a half an hour long so it wasn't nothing you know very lengthy and very boring it was quick it showed you what you wanted to see and this is kind of a, a prelude to actually E3 which is this Tuesday and I'll be covering stuff as it comes out of E3 you know with the new Xbox and stuff like that just to inform you guys uh, many of you guys if you don't know what E3 is it's like a gaming convention they show off all the new stuff it's in LA and uh, it's really cool I want to go next year so bad um, um, couldn't go this year, just couldn't, you know, get, you know, the plan together to go, but that's nothing too bad. I would love to go this year. It's a big year, but next year I'm sure it would be another awesome year. Um, so E3 is basically the big convention where they're going to show off everything new, and this year's going to be big, and Call of Duty actually wanted to do a little pre-thing to E3 to kind of show the fans that aren't going to really focus on E3, who don't really know too much about it, some of the stuff about their game, which was actually a very smart, um you know, business kind of tactic that they did. Very smart um, marketing standpoint. They're actually showing the game off before uh, E3 to some of the fans who aren't necessarily in tune with E3 and know what it's about, which is uh, very smart of Call of Duty. But back on the all-access um, event that took place, very cool. They showed the first level, which was an underwater level. Uh, took place in, you know, it looked like an underwater city that kind of fell into the ocean that kind of was devastated there was a lighthouse down there there was all these you know structures and it was actually pretty cool the game was played on next-gen uh, technology whether it was the actual next-gen console itself the Xbox one or the PS4 or on the new engine which I'm definitely sure it was uh, on the new engine and I'm pretty sure that's what they meant by next-gen technology so it looked nice it looked smooth everything looked like it ran pretty cool and um, I'm really happy with the way the game looked. Uh, the environment looked sick. The, uh, you know, everything about it just kind of brought back good memories in Call of Duty. And I never really got that when I saw campaign trailers as of late. And uh, this one just seemed, you know, refreshing. It seemed new. They also showed the dog, which was sick. It looked absolutely fantastic. Uh, the ability to actually interact with the dog. There was a flip-up camera on the back of the dog that you could actually see what the dog saw and, you know, give it direction to attack certain guards, to attack certain uh, enemies that were in, you know, houses. So you don't have to actually, like, run in and engage them like we had to do in previous campaigns where you have to, you know, bust down the door, uh, run in there and engage that engage them throw a flashbang the dog you would actually send in and then once it was all clear you engage the enemies that were left which I really like it's really cool and it looks like they're built you know, building a very very strong companionship to this dog so <laughs> a lot of people have been saying that uh, well a lot of people have been you know saying the uh, dog will die in the campaign as rumors and if it does you know that's gonna be a very very big plot twist they're making this dog extremely important to the campaign um you know they talked about how they want to build a companionship with it they want to you know actually feel like you are an owner of this dog which is awesome i really like that they're taking this step into uh getting more into the game getting more personal with the game and uh, the storyline actually has to deal with a brother-brother combination uh, fighting together, which was sick. Again, you know, building that personal uh, personal experience to the game, which is something that campaign needs to take a step to doing because 
With that, you build a more immersive campaign. You build a campaign that people are going to want to play and that they're going to actually want to, you know, dive into and see what happens next. And if something tr terrible happens, a tragedy that, you know, twist the game that they would have never expected to happen it makes them want to keep playing it it makes them you know feel like it's actually affecting them which a lot of movies do um well so i'm glad call of duty's taking this step building a more personal uh interaction with the game they also showed some of the other levels some of the other um abilities in the game they showed the new mounting system where the guy didn't have to stop he was actually underwater he just kept swimming and mounted uh, a barrier or a wall that have has fallen into the sea underwater very smooth um they showed some of the guns very cool again it looks like typical modern warfare infinity ward type guns uh you know the m4 the um typical you know american uh assault rifles that they use in battle which was also really cool I, I overall i like the event i'm really excited for e3 to see what call of duty is doing they described what their booth was like which was a whole 180 or something 360 degree screen around the person playing and they would get to you know actually be surrounded by the gameplay which is cool everything looks you know awesome so far hopefully they could build upon this and when they actually show us multiplayer they do it successfully uh, hopefully they keep out all the BS that we've hated in previous Call of Duties because as of now the campaign looks sick it looks really really fun to play and I'm looking forward to it so again like I said in the beginning of the video if you guys saw the all access uh, preview tell me what you thought of it in the comment section below I'd really love to hear what you guys think uh, it'd be awesome to interact down there so again hopefully you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave it a like guys really appreciate it anyway if you're new to the channel definitely click subscribe kid from sunset park i'm out peace